we just did four different math curriculums in one semester and it's not because I have four children, it's because I'm crazy. No, it's because it's what worked best for us. There are pros and cons to each of these. We've got Apologia, Life of Fred, Generations, and the new one from Gather Round. I wanna just tell you a little bit about each one. I have a video already out comparing Apologia to Generations math. Which one's my preference? My preference is Generations, but my twins who are nine, they loved Apologia. And Apologia didn't actually have a level, this is level three, they didn't actually have the level three curriculum for my twins at the time that they needed it. Um, my, they, they just completed this one, we're in January right now, they just completed this. It took them about nine months. I think something like that because I think we started um, just under a year ago doing this one and they have never complained about it they enjoy it each lesson starts with like a little game I think this is a great twin curriculum actually because they were able to work together they could read the instructions together they did the game together they took turns back and forth on the math problems honestly I rarely was involved in this curriculum with them because they had a buddy to do it with them this is is a mastery approach to math if that matters to you I talk about it more in the other video as well they loved it I'm sure they want to go on to the next one I have chosen because they are in third grade right now I want to pause with the Apologia math or whatever we decide to do next and have them go back to Life of Fred. I love Life of Fred math. I have a video on this one as well. I do think it can be used as a full curriculum. However, we tend to go through it really quickly and therefore <laughs> I actually call this practice. This is our main curriculum. This is practice, even though they did the whole thing. I know whatever. Um, I, I really like Life of Fred though. So the boys are going to go back to this for a while until I decide what I want them to do next, whether it's moving on to level four of that or trying something else. Back to generations before I get to the new one by Gather Round. I wasn't planning on my first grader. Um, he just turned seven a couple weeks ago, doing math two from generations until right now. I was gonna have him just do Life of Fred for the fall because he had completed level one, but he loved this and he begged to keep doing it. So we have been doing this kind of back and forth with Life of Fred. Um, honestly, he does this every day and then Life of Fred like once a week uh, because he's just so eager to do this and he was really excited to try to complete it. He only made it about halfway, which is where he should have made it. Um, sometimes he like doubled or tripled up and just did like multiples in here because he likes this math so much. You can find a better review about it in this video here. I know some of you have also asked for a review for book one or level one of this as well. And I will try to get that out to you, but they're largely set up the exact same. So when you see that math too, um, it is very similar and you can find a sample of it on the Generations website. Now, this is brand new. And as I explained in my video about our fall semester and our entrepreneur lesson, this is a beta test through Gather Round that we were able to join. And I thought that was really fun that since we were learning about entrepreneurship, having my 10 year old join this and kind of learn about uh, what that means to beta test something. And so as we're going through it, we try to keep a keen eye out for anything that might need adjusted, what might, what tweaks might make it better, different things like that. This will actually not become available to the general public from my understanding until next fall. Let me go through a couple pros and cons real quick with you, but I don't want to do a full review until later on. Pro, these books are so small and you hear me say it all the time when I review math books. I hate setting books this thick in front of my children. Like if somebody gave me this book and said complete it, I would laugh at them. Like I don't want to do that. I think that's so discouraging. I tend to rip these pages out and bind them for my kids even with the Apologia one. Like I take the spiral out, I spiral them in smaller chunks to have them complete so that it feels uh, like you're actually doing something. So I think that is like my favorite about these books from uh, Gather Round. They are 20 lessons. Well, okay, they are actually 10 lessons, but they are 20 days to complete them. So each one starts with a lesson. 
teaches your child the new concept, gives them a little bit of practice, actually has scripture or a Bible uh, thought that goes along with that, which my husband's actually been helping my son more with this than I have been. And he's been incredibly impressed. My husband's a pastor. He's been incredibly impressed with how well they're able to do that. I have another friend that's going through the beta testing too. And she says she is just blown away. Like it doesn't seem cheesy at all. They are doing a great job explaining and including the Bible in that. And I will go more into that in a later video. Um, and then the second day is a practice day, a review day. That's how it's set up. It's like 10 new concepts or ideas and 10 practice days back and forth. And so 20 in all. The con is I don't see how this is realistic um, cost wise. Like it's it's not to me. When we're talking about like a generation's book for the entire year being around that $30 mark, it's cheaper if you get it for like Black Friday or something. These have a price tag, which I probably shouldn't say because it's beta testing and maybe they're going to change that. Um, and then shipping also. So let's just throw out $15 a book and say they're $15 a book. I think it's going to end up being more than that. And they're not doing digital with these. It is only print. Um, and it lasts you 20 days. You add that up and especially for multiple kids, that gets super spendy, really expensive. Um, and I just don't see how that would even be an option for me, for my kids, because that is, it's just too much, which is unfortunate. <laughs> So I hope that Rebecca can find a way to tweak that in some way to make it a little bit more cost effective. Um, I don't know how they're going to do that. Uh, this is, as Rebecca explains, a spiral and mastery approach. I think lots of curriculums like to claim that the way that it's mastery is that like this one is number sense and this one is addition and then they'll have, I'm sure, subtraction and division. Um, and they're by level. So step five, my son is in fifth grade. So that matches up with him. You can take a test to see where your placement is. Um, and everybody goes through number sense. Now for in fifth grade, you're not just like recognizing the numbers, but you're knowing their, well, he's already got place value too. There was like Roman numerals, there's decimals, I believe was in this one. Um, and then addition, you're like adding fractions or decimals and those kinds of things. So it's at that level, just continuing that skill. So that's where kind of like the mastery comes in in it is that like for 20 lessons, you're learning about like one topic, but the spiral comes in that you're continually practicing and you're coming back to it year after year. Like he would go back and do step six of number sense. I hope that makes sense. That's my understanding of it. Um, and like I said, because this is beta testing, I don't want to get into it too much yet. I want to do some more and come back to you guys with a better review in the future. If you have any questions, let me know down below or send me an email. I love chatting with you guys and helping you find a curriculum that's right for you. Until then, you might want to go check out one of these videos that I've already done that does do a deeper dive into these curriculums. Also, you could find the playlist that would help with that too. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.